Hey guys, this is KK Creatures, and in this video, I will be showing you the moths, the hummingbird or hawk moths that have hatched from the tomato hornworms. Um, if you guys have any tips, like on feeding these guys and all that, anything that's important, please let me go and know in the comments because, um, you know, this is one of my first times doing it, especially my first time breeding. I do have to do some research in this myself, but, you know, any tips will be helpful. Um, by the way, there are two cocoons left, only three of them. Three of the moths have hatched, and that cocoon on the floor, that was just an empty one. Um, I've been feeding them, well, not feeding them, but I put some flowers in, some lantana and a few other types, hoping that they'll be able to get the nectar out themselves. Um, if you have any tips on feeding, let me know because I don't want these guys to die. I'm going to try to breed them. And I'm going to put this potato plant in right here that I've grown for them. Because I heard that, and also I did feed the caterpillars sweet potato. And so I'm hoping that they'll be able, the moths will lay their eggs on the potato plant. And then I'll be able to raise my own tomato um hornworms um so yeah any tips are helpful but i'll show you guys the moths up close now okay here's one of them i think this is my biggest one it's been flying around the most and if i can focus it you can kind of see the it has white and brown and on the back it has like orangish pink color and over here is the other one. This one is, I think, the smallest. You can see that pattern on the wings. And all the browns and whites. These guys aren't the prettiest moths, obviously. Like, I think the Luna moth is very pretty. Um, but they are really cool. I like their size and, you know, just the, the caterpillars especially. I love them. But if you have a favorite moth or favorite caterpillar, let me know in the comments below. And yeah, I'd like to know what your favorite is. But anyways, the other moth, if I can find it, hold on. The other moth is like the middle size. I'll try to show you the size of these moths like by putting my hand close to it but these are smaller because they've just hatched here it is there's the other guy so i don't know if you can see my hand back there i'll have to move it somewhere else but you can see that orange underneath of the wings right under there these guys are nocturnal like i said earlier they're very active at night like they are flying everywhere everywhere they can in this small cage but anyways they are probably like maybe like four inches long at the most i think they're only like two or three maybe wingspan is four inches but they're not that big being a moth and everything but well if you have any questions leave them in the comments below remember to tell me your favorite moth and thanks for watching <laughs>